Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel for my first sit down video of this year. So my hair has grown quite a considerable length I feel um, <laughs> since I cut it all off and I thought it was about time I showed you how I have been styling my short hair now. Most of the time I have been wearing it straight because it was a bit too short for me to curl. But now I think it's at the length where I can curl it. So I do things a little bit different. So I thought I could show you how I'm doing that today. And if you have different hair type than I do, I can explain how I would best think for you to try it. And obviously people like their hair a different way and my method might not work for you. So just play about with it and um, hopefully you'll get some tips from this video. So for this look, I have the wide GHDs. These are super old GHDs. And I also have a 38 millimeter barrel tong. And this I picked up from Tesco's a very long time ago, but this is by the brand Total Hair Experts, THX neither of which I have cleaned for this video. May we say, maybe I should have done that beforehand. Um, but yes, and I'll explain why I'm using those two different things as well as we go along. So something that I already have on my hair is this L'Oreal Magic Root Touch Up, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. So this I cannot live without, guys. So this is what I've sprayed onto my hair this morning. I'm due to have my roots done on the weekend, so I apologize if you see anything. That makes me look slightly older. I'm at that age, guys, but 21 was when they started, okay. Throughout this you'll also see me using the Tresemme Heat Defense. I like this one purely because it goes up to 230 degrees heat protection and it's a styling spray so not having to use a heat defense and then a styling spray as well. I've always used this one, um, it's got a UV filter on it as well so yeah I just quite like this one so I'm open to trying different ones but this is the one I've used for the longest time. This I've used probably forever. I <laughs> um, absolutely love L'Oreal products um, for my hair and I use them in the shower as well. So we've got the L'Oreal Elnet Satin and this I have in Strength, Extra Strength, the um, Extra Caring Argan Oil. So I spray each section as I go through. And then we have a finishing product which um, I was a bit hesitant to try this because it was quite costly but I have the smaller version of this. I think it's the 50 mil that I have. That lasted me six months. This has lasted me a year already and you can see I've got around just over a third of this left. So definitely worth buying. I apply, apply this before I brush my hair through and I apply this to my ends as a finishing product and this just smells divine. So definitely, definitely worth um, the investment for that. I'm going to start by sectioning my hair into three or four. So I always take sort of from about my temples area here, I just take this section up and just put that into a small knot and I like clips. I don't like using bobbles where I've got to wind it on, <laughs> wind it back off. So yeah, that's what I do. I then take an area, so sort of half of what is left there before my ears go all the way around. My hair is quite thick. Um, if yours is thicker than mine, you might need to take sort of bigger pieces, but if not, then take some smaller sections. And then this is what I have left, so I will use a half of that, of the whole of my head. So I'm gonna run my finger all around there. I'm not precious, like I don't have to use a tail comb to go around and make sure each section is done because, I mean, I'm not creating perfect curls here. So we're going for a kind of like a wave. So. What I tend to do, love a tangle teaser by the way as well, um, I tend to brush through with my tangle teaser and make sure that each section is nice and not free. And then every section I will spray and comb. So for about the bottom half of my hair, I am going to use the GHGs to do a slight wave, a slight curl at the ends, purely because my hair is so thick that if I use the tongs for everything, everything sort of seems to come out instead of falling nicely, just because my hair is so thick. So that's the reason why I am using the straighteners to start off. Okay, so I'm just going to comb that through, hold the end, and then clamp the top, 
and take the rear end of the straightener 180 degrees up and around and then just pull down and once I've released the curl I'm just going to use my finger to twist it and slightly pull down so I've got a uniform curl here then all I'm going to do is give it a quick spritz and that's that one done I'm going to do the same on the other side I'm clamping and then the bottom this time I'm going to come under 180 degrees and pull down and that's purely because I want this one to come away from my face this way this one to come away from my face this way so they're not all going in that direction okay so I'm going to do the same thing with this next section that we have by the ears so I tend to take this section from the ear here and this section same size from the other side and not what I have left spritz with the heat defense comb and then sometimes like with this one I feel like I'm a little bit wavy at the top here and my section is quite thick so I tend to sort of do a little clamp this side, a little clamp that side, just so I've got that bit straightened by my roots. So now it's coming closer together. I'm going to go clamp, same thing again, bottom 180 degrees up, pull down, let go, and twist, spritz. Okay, same thing with this one, comb and spray. remember this time we're just turning it a slightly different direction let's just do that top section again so this time bottom is coming under pull down curl spritz so the back section then I've just split in half so I'm going to spritz and comb do the same thing again, I'm just going to straighten that top bit and this side is going bottom up and my other side is going bottom under so I'm going to pull that down, twist the way it's going, spritz and then this side is actually a bit thicker than I thought it was so I'm going to split that in half Home. This time it'll be bottom under. And then with that very back bit in the centre, it doesn't matter which way that goes because it's directly in the middle. Now, I will say if you're creating a wave, that if you want your hair to sort of be in a uniform wave, I would do the curls in the same direction. Whereas at the moment I'm not really bothered, I just don't want them don't want them to come into my face because it's less flattering. So just clamping that close to the scalp, the scalp, the scalp. <laughs> and that way is just easier for my hand to go. Okay, so now let's do this next section here. So this is where I might do a little bit with the tongs now. So let's just do this side section here with the straighteners and then the back with the tongs purely because I don't want to make my head look wider. <laughs> I'll probably do that with just the top section. So I'm just going to take this side bit and this side bit and do this straighteners okay. 
Now if your hair is a lot thicker than mine, I would probably do a lot more with the straighteners. If your hair is a lot thinner than mine, I'd probably create more body using the tongs. And what I can do then is, if I feel like I need a little bit more lift here, I can just go back with the tongue at the root. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the tongue. And what I'm going to do is, it's quite a large section at the back, so I'm just gonna do the same again. I'm gonna take a section that side to drop down, section there to drop down, and then I'm left with just a little middle section there. So, in the same kind of fashion, I'm going to spritz, comb, And what I have done in the past, if you find that your ends need it, you can sort of go over the ends really quickly, but you don't have to do that. But what I'm gonna do then is, it's actually quite a thick bit, so I'm just gonna split that into two. I'm going to place the tongue on top, and then I'm going to wrap around and just hold the bottom. I'm gonna to count to eight then. Gonna let that go and hold the curl in place. Just whilst it's cooling, it just makes the process sort of, it makes it hold a little bit longer. Okay, and then spritz it. And then you can see the difference here, how much larger that curl is and bouncier than the rest of them. So I'm gonna do the same again here. So place the tongue on top, close to the root, not actually touching my scalp though, obviously. Wrap around and hold the bottom for eight seconds. And then I'm going to do the same thing again, let it cool and spritz. And I would say always, always go for less time, first of all, until you know what your hair is like. If your hair curls really quickly, don't use the tongue for as long on the hair. Always go last time until you know your hair type. It's just going over the end there because I felt like it needed it a little bit. Okay, so over onto this side. I'll probably do the same. I'll push it in half. It definitely needs a cut. Okay, you're gonna place the tongue. Wow, my hair's in the way, let's get that out of the way. And I hope you don't mind this change in scenery just for today because I don't really do as many hair tutorials anymore. And to be honest with you, this was the easiest place for me to film it in here because I've got a huge mirror as you know in front of me and it's just so much harder when you're trying to do your hair and you haven't got a mirror in front of you obviously. Okay so same thing again I'm going to place the tongue on top and if I haven't said it I always point the end of the tongue down so tongue on top pointing down and wrap away from your face. Hold for eight seconds Let it cool in your hands. And spritz. If you find that you have particularly knotty hair as well, whilst you're using the straightener, I would um, have the comb in front of the straightener so you're sort of combing before you're straightening because you don't want to straighten it over the top of knots. Little tip there if you don't already know that one. So placing the tongue on top with the hair and then with the end pointing down and then wrapping the hair away from the face for eight seconds. Letting it cool in the hand and then spraying it. So I'm gonna do that exact process now um, on this top section. So all of the curls come away from my face. 
forgot we had a little back section here, guys. And I'm quite curly whirly close to my roots, so I think I'm just gonna clamp close to my roots. Okay, so with this one again, it doesn't matter which way you go because it's right in the middle. So I'm going to place it on top of the hair and wrap around, hold it for eight seconds, and then spritz. I tend to like a little bit more volume like at the back of my hair here which because my hair is so heavy I never tend to get so using a tongue is actually a lot better for that so onto this top section I always do my front part first because even though for some people it may get in the way I hate having this like thing in the front of my face when I'm trying to sort of do my hair so it kind of guides me with how much lift I need on the rest of my hair. So let's brush it, spray it. And with this one, what we're going to do is we'll straighten the ends again. And I think, can you see this like little wiggly bit here? I'm just going to make that nice and smooth. I'm just going to come right on the end there. Okay, so I'm going to place the tongs slightly different now. So I'm going to place that in this, instead of like going that way, it's going to come through this section here. So on top, quite close to the root. And this time I'm going to twist my hair and twist around the tongue and the reason I'm doing this is purely because it's feathered my hair is feathered in at the front and if I don't do that if you have layers or anything when you're placing the tongue around your hair it just all comes off like it just falls off of the tongue Okay, so don't worry about how it looks at the moment because we will be sort of brushing it through, running our fingers through, so I'm not concerned with how that looks at the moment. So let's get rid of a little bit of the frizziness over here. remember you don't have to do the same method that I have done you know just find out what works for you in your hair so again placing it on the top facing down slightly over the top and then just twiddling in my hands as I wrap around just keeps all of those little hairs in place So I'm going to do the same method with the back and so placing on top and wrapping around. So let's just speed through this a little bit.
if you have pieces like this as well that are just that little bit unruly you need them to sort of be more straight don't be afraid of going back in and recurling it so it faces the direction you need it to or even taking the straighteners over it so I don't mind this bit coming like in a more downwards motion here more of a looser curl So this top section then that's left I'm just taking three sections from the back then so it doesn't matter which way I place the tongue again I think I'm actually going to take a sort of triangular section there, here, and then one in the middle at the back, just to help it fall a little bit better. I feel like I need like an extra curl on each side. If you can see me doing this as well, <laughs> it's because the camera is in the way of the mirror, so I'm just looking either side of it. I think as well the beauty of spraying each section when you are doing it so spraying it with the styling spray with each section um, just helps hold it for those sort of well days really I mean I find that my hair lasts for days like it was slightly dropped don't get me wrong but even when I had really long hair and I did this it would last Now this does brush out, but not totally I would say, so I'm just going to leave that there a sec second, just on top of my head. Okay, so don't need my tools anymore, so turning those off. So all I need to do now is basically run my fingers through my hair with finishing product, so this is a finishing product as well, but yeah, just running my hair through, my fingers through, and just placing my hair where I want it. If you want a really natural wave, go through and manipulate it with your brush or with your comb and just make all of those waves sort of more uniform. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through with Gizu. So 
So that stopped recording. I've used about a tea, a pea size amount, not a tea size amount, pea size amount. Rubbed it through my hands of the gazoo and just through the ends of my hair. And then anything that is left, I'm taking that across at the top to smooth it down, just flyaways first of all. And then I'm gonna run my fingers through. Okay, so then you can just manipulate it however you want. If you want something a little bit more curly, you can go back and add those curls in, or I don't know, I kind, I kind of like how it's sort of sitting, if I'm honest with you. So what I would do is once I find the place that I want it to sit, I will go through and just spritz. And I think just play about with the way that your hair is sitting and if the one time you do it, if it doesn't curl in the direction that you want it to, try and do it in the opposite direction. And sometimes if you curl one one way and one the other, it'll sit nicely on top of each other. So here I can see that I've curled one one way and one the other and I quite like how that's sitting. So yeah, I never like my curls to be uniform anyway, but yes. So if I have been curling my hair, this is how I have been doing it and I haven't been afraid either to brush it through and I'll show you what that looks like brushed through and it makes sort of more of a, a natural wave there but yeah really really pleased with it I think it's a good length at the moment for curling however I'm not sure whether I want to go slightly shorter again I will see I will see <laughs> anyway there we go, matching. <laughs> um, I hope that was helpful for you today and that you picked up a few tips along the way. Uh, let me know if there's anything else I can sort of help you with at all, hair-wise. I mean, I'm not a guru in any sort of means of the word, but yeah, if there's anything I can help you with, please let me know. And I will speak to you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>